Let me give you an example here in Ohio. We had a company called uh, DHL, and DHL closed a facility in Wilmington, Ohio. 8,000 jobs gone. Now imagine 8,000 jobs. We're talking uh, 40,000 family people, 40,000 people affected by that. Uh, we're talking about wiping out an entire community, the economic collapse, the social collapse of an entire community. And uh, what happened? Who moved in to save that, that facility? Who moved in to keep those people's jobs together? Who moved in to say, this is what we need to do. We need to save American jobs, the American economy. What could we have done there? Well, imagine this. What if the United States had moved in and said, no, we won't close that. We won't let these people lose their jobs. We're going to turn that into a, a modern logistics facility, warehousing and shipping. Uh, we could put the taxpayers' resources, the workers' know-how, the consumers' input, and we could turn this into a model of logistics. We could build a national network that could revitalize our post office, that could compete with DHL and FedEx and UPS. We could have saved those jobs in Wilmington, and the U.S. government didn't do it. You know, that is a moment. What happened in Wilmington is a moment when we could have seen leadership from the Republican Party or the Democratic Party, neither one of those parties, neither one of those parties has an answer. Neither one of those parties is going to go in there and, and save those jobs. They don't give a damn. The Republicans and Democrats ultimately don't give a damn. That's why we need to have another alternative. We need to have somebody who says, I'm not going to let those jobs go. We're going to fight for those jobs. And that's not just a question of electing one senator. Electing one senator could be great because it would say, we are going to move politics to the left. We're going to build that outpost of a future society by creating that first, that first sign that the old parties are cracking up, that we're going to build a new party. But not only that, we could inspire workers to fight back. What if a, what if a senator had flown into Wilmington and said, all right, everybody occupy that factory. Let's occupy that facility there. Not a factory, but that shipping facility. Let's occupy that building. 8,000 people, bring your families down there. We're holding this place until we get the money from the government. Did we see that leadership from anybody in Congress? No. Nobody will do that. That's what we need to do. We need to have politicians who aren't politicians, but who are expressions of the social movement. Politicians who are part of the working class. Politicians who are part of the labor movement. Politicians who say, I'm going to be there when the fight comes down on your side and we're not going to let this place go.